bill giving Arkansans more leeway when using deadly force is expected to be heard by a House committee this week. That's right. Supporters say people need the right to defend themselves, but some worry it would encourage people to take justice into their own hands. Kerry K4's Drew Petrimo joining us now in the studio with more on this. Hey, Drew. Well, Bob Ashley, there's been a lot of talk lately about stand your ground type laws. The sponsor of this bill says it doesn't go that far, especially when you consider what's been done in some other states. But he believes Arkansans need more power to defend themselves. At Don's Weaponry in North Little Rock, they're big advocates for personal protection. It's just saying that you don't have to retreat into your house and wait till someone beats your door down. News that a bill's been filed to make that notion true is welcome here. Well, you shouldn't have to run on your own property. The bill would amend Arkansas law as it pertains to when a person can use deadly force. Right now, the law says you cannot kill someone in self-defense if you're able to safely retreat unless you're in your home or garage. The change would not require retreat anywhere on the person's property. Even including deer leases or other properties that you have legal interest in. Bill sponsor, Republican State Rep Kim Hammer. Given the events of what we've seen, you know, either in our nation or even in our state, that people have the right to defend themselves. But some lawmakers worry the law could be abused and provide a legal excuse for people to take the law into their own hands. Our people have gone over the line and um, that is a concern and that's why, again, taking the proper classes um, knowing when you should use this for type of force is a good thing. And again, this bill is set to be in front of a House committee later this week. We will continue to follow, let you guys know what happened. Back to you. All right, Drew.